Hello. In this video, I would like to check two programs for uh, PCB design. Uh, I would like to create custom PCB for, for my RGB LED clock project done with ESP8266. Uh, the reason behind that is, uh, for example, I would like to use a regular ESP32 uh, microcontroller instead ESP32 uh, microcontroller development board. Th the other reason is I would like to add uh, some functionality to the board, uh, like a lever shifter and maybe add directly LED diodes to that PCB, so that I don't have to have additional PCB with uh, ring LED diodes. So I started uh, to look for PCB design programs and uh, the most popular program is of course Altium Designer. But it's a bit expensive for, for uh, this kind of project. So I, I found the Circuit Studio. The Circuit Studio has a free trial, but it's also too expensive for, for, for this kind of use. Uh, guides in Altium have that in mind, so they create the free PCB design uh, studio called uh, Circuit Maker, and this is free and, uh, and web-based. I don't like much the web-based uh, programs, so I found a free and open source uh, KiCad, and it basically does everything like like a circuit maker. It just it's not web based, and it's open source. The one more uh, plus for for uh, KiCad is that you have Spice Simulator built in. So this is the option that I would like to try as well. So let's start and uh, download these two programs and check how fast we can design and develop some uh, basic PCBs in order to evaluate these two programs for further use. So let's, uh, let's uh, install Circuit Maker first. Press on download now. And we need to to create our account. When we receive confirmation mail, we can activate our account by clicking on it, this button, and then we can download Circuit Maker. Click on save, save to downloads folder, and let's run it. Click on next, click on agreed, default part is, part is okay. Because this is a free, free program, I would like to, uh, I would uh, suggest to leave yes, I want to participate have a summary and then click next, next to begin install. Log in with your credentials that you created. And now let's just wait for download to finish. Now let's wait for installation to finish. Okay, so we have uh, opportunity to choose the team. I would like to choose dark team and, and click run circuit maker. Allow access. And now we have circuit maker installed. Let's connect with our account. And now we have our start page which can we close. And now we can start by creating a new project, but that will be done in the next, next video. 
Now let's continue with installation of KiCad. Go to KiCad website, click on download, select Windows, select server that is closest to you. I'm based in Europe, so I will select Switzerland. Save to download folder. Wait for it to download and then we'll install the KiCad. Okay, let's now install KiCad. Click on next. Okay, now here we can select a different libraries. I would like to select all and basically I will run this as is, so as default. You need to check this is uh, everything from here is uh, offline, so it requires much more space on your hard drive. This uh, is uh, as is, will take up to six gigabytes, so just be aware of that. Click on next, next select a place to install KiCad, click install, and just wait for installation to finish. And now after installation is finished, we have this question here. So if we want to use 3D models, we need to install PreCAD. So I would like to have the same functionality as inside Circuit Maker. So I would like to have 3D modeling and I would like to select this and click on finish. Okay, so FreeCAD Web Org is open now. I will click to download Windows 64 bit. Click on save. Save it to the downloads folder. Install FreeCAD. Next, 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 next. Everything as is. Next, install. And now when FreeCAD is installed, let's see what will happen if we launch FreeCAD. Okay. So we can close this. And now let's open the KiCad. Okay, so we now have the same dashboard as inside Circuit Maker in which we can create our project and start developing our board. This is all for this video. And in the next one, I would like to create a simple, simple amplifier so that I can check everything from schematic to PCB to generating Gerber files in, of course, both programs and then somehow determine which is better to use in my use case. See you in the next video.